This is IBM, International Business Machines, aka Big Blue. It's gone by various names, a very well established company. It's been at the forefront of technology for many, many years. It's now though in transition because it's been exiting businesses that are in the low end servers, cash registers, semiconductors that go into other equipment, hardware generally, and trying to focus more and more on these high margin, high growth areas like security, cloud computing, data analytics, hardcore computer consulting for major, major corporates with regard to building systems for them to professionalize and extend their business models. Based in the United States of America, in fact, in the state of New York, upstate New York, Armonk, market cap has sagged a little bit. We're talking about $169 billion, so about half that of Google. Price to earnings ratio 14.4, that's a little subpar in fact. Dividend yield 3%. So I guess uh, the interesting thing is this touches on our conversation earlier where a company sort of is perceived to be a little bit behind the curve, I guess. Although they're still a titan and have still got very many exciting businesses under the hood, I guess. Yeah, yeah. You, you summed up in the beginning a lot of you know what's happened there. You know, Once again, I'm not an IBM expert, but I do keep a, a watchful eye on what they're doing. And they've transitioned from being pretty much focused in hardware mm -hmm. over the last five or ten years to being a lot more focused on the software and the services side of the business. Um, problem is that that business, Paul, doesn't scale so well because it's dependent on people. And um, if one looks at IBM's track record over the past four or five years, revenue's gone down. Yeah, and uh, that's slightly. reflected there in that chart. So the share price has lagged and sagged because, as you say, in this transition, their revenues have actually been falling, even though the profits have been sort of there or thereabouts. Funny, the, 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 the profit margins have been held up. Mm. Um, but this is one of those companies that's kind of perhaps so big that it's very difficult for them to find a massive new growth area. Yeah. And so people are, are marking the shares down a bit, but it, it still is a very vital pillar of the world's uh, technology ecosystem. Because the kind of companies that would hire IBM would be like ExxonMobil, FIFA, you know, which hires IBM to run every single element of their ticketing system, of their website for the World mm. Cup, of all of the associated uh, billing systems and so on. They, the, 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 what's the, the, here in South Africa, Trevor Manuel's committee, the National Planning Commission, hired IBM in order mm. to run some major campaign to get web-based suggestions. Mm. They do web rollouts, they do enormous consulting problems to turn around governments. But those, of course, are quite chunky appointments and they are quite competitive and there may be margin-related pressures in that area. Yeah. 100%. Look, uh, uh, you know, summary on this one, I, I'm not too hot on it at all mm. because it's, it's a great company. It's got a great history. And, and as you said, Big Blue, mm. you know, everybody knows about them. But in terms of like sexy growth and yeah. uh, innovation, um, new innovation, my, my feeling is, is not really uh, synonymous with them. But I put it in the list because A, it's in the space, and B, because it illustrates that point so well. I mean, when Google was founded, IBM would have already been a member of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. They were one of the most reputable companies. They were top of the list in terms of the Fortune 500 and the Forbes 50, the most respected company in America, the one everybody wanted to work for. Now they've got less than half the market cap of Google. They don't have that sex appeal. They're trading on a 14 PE. So the point here is this is not a sector where you can buy and fall asleep because, of course, everything is changing so often. Sure. So I'm with you. I think we're going not hot on IBM. It's got a lot of work to do. It may be hot in the future. It might bring its Watson supercomputer artificial intelligence technology and make a bomb. But for the moment, anyway, it looks as though it's not hot. That's okay. what I would say. Good.